Right, so you're using DaVinci Resolve and all of a sudden your hard drive is being eaten up and you have no idea where all those gigabytes went to. In this video, I'm going to tell you where they went and where you can find them and where you can get them back. But before we do that, my name is Rico Richardson. Welcome back to my channel. I upload weekly videos on Darktable and DaVinci. So if that's something you're into, please subscribe. Now let's go. Right, so here we have DaVinci and usually if you want a smooth playback because it's laggy or something, you can go to playback and you have a couple of options. I've made a separate video about that. I'll link it up here and I'll be sure to link it at the end of the video. But just to run them through quite quickly, you can use optimized media. So you can hit the right mouse button on the clip and then decide to go for generate optimized media. Or you can change the proxy mode from off to half resolution or quarter resolution so that's how the quality will be played back and another thing you can do is render cache which you can put to smart and to user which usually means that you decide how it happens or davinci resolve decides how that happens and now let me tell you where you can find that so if you go to davinci resolve and you click preferences you will have a media storage and whatever this says that's where the cache will be now let me show you how much cache I have. So this is the folder. I'm going to hit the right mouse button and I'm going to preferences, which is in Dutch, but look at this go. 50, 80, 100, 140, 180, 220, 250, 259 gigabytes of cache files. Really? I didn't even know that I had so much cache, but now that I know, it's time to get rid of that. So I got some storage space left and my computer will run faster again. So let me just open that one up and I'm going to select everything. And the last one as well, hit delete. And there you go. Bye bye files. Goodbye. Welcome back storage. And that's how you can instantly clean up a lot of gigabytes and you don't have to buy an extra external hard drive or something like that. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to see more of me, please click that button over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button over there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!